achieved by faith. Hebrews chapter 11 records the names of many men and women who walked by faith and who trusted God with the vision that he gave them. Uh, in verses 8 to 10, we read about the life of Abraham. Verse 8, by faith, Abraham, when he when called to go to a place he would later receive as his inheritance, obeyed and went, even though he did not know where he was going. By faith, he made his home in the promised land, like a stranger in a foreign country. He lived in tents, as did Isaac and Jacob, who were heirs with him of the same promise. For he was looking forward to the city with foundations, whose architect and builder is God. These verses tell us about the journey of Abraham, uh, that he left his country and he dwelt together with Isaac and Jacob uh, and he continued to trust God for the promises of God to come to pass uh, in his life and he looked way ahead of just his lifetime. But how did Abraham do these things? Abraham is called as the father of faith. He did it by faith. Uh, and like Abraham, several others also made this journey of fulfilling their vision through faith. Sarah conceived uh, as she received strength, the Bible says, through faith. And that's how she conceived Isaac and gave birth to him. So we, we understand that uh, uh, the fulfillment of a vision is a journey. Uh, and as we uh, walk and trust God uh, in this journey, we've got to have faith because there are, there are things that we, we will not see fulfilled tomorrow. Uh, it, it might even take years, but we've got to hold on and trust God and journey by faith. Faith uh, is the substance of things that we hope for. It's the evidence uh, of the promises of God. And so we've got to have faith. And we also read that faith pleases God. Without faith, it is impossible to please God. Uh, and we've got to have faith to keep trusting God, to uh, keep holding on to that picture uh, of the future that God has given us. Uh, and we've got to uh, have faith in God and know that God is someone who will always be faithful to His promises. So uh, as we observe the life of Abraham and the lives of several others in Scripture, may that inspire us today to hold on to the vision that God has given us. What is the vision that, that each of us are holding on to? Um, uh, has God given us the entire uh, picture or are we still seeking God for what it is that He wants us to do? And if, if things are clear uh, and the journey seems long, we can still, uh, as Thessalonians says, that God who has promised is faithful. Now, can we just speak that way about God and have faith in Him today that God will help us be successful in this journey of achieving the vision. So a God-given vision cannot be achieved without faith. It's going to take faith on our part, on God's part. You know, he's, he's already doing His part by, by giving us the vision. But on our part, it's going to take faith for us to hold on and grit to, to keep standing on His promises uh, and to walk into this wonderful vision that God has for us. So shall we just pray together? Heavenly Father, we thank you, God, for uh, your promises. And God, we, we thank you, Lord, for uh, the picture that you've given different ones of us, Father God, and the direction in which you are leading us. Father, we, we ask you to strengthen us, Father. And Lord, we thank you for the power of the Holy Spirit, which is working in us, oh God. Lord, we know that by the power of the Spirit, we are overcomers. And God, by faith, oh God, we stand knowing that the vision, Lord, that you have given for our lives, Father, that it will surely come to pass. And Father, we just honor you uh, that you're such a wonderful God uh, of, of mercy and such a wonderful God of plan and design. We honor you, we worship you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.